Hello, I'm Jordi Obregon, a senior theology major from Wichita, Kansas. And I'm Ellie Britton from Madison, Wisconsin. I'm a business administration major, and I must say, I'm glad we're coming to the end of classes and homework for the school year. Yay! Yes, the end is in sight. Much thanks to the professors who have helped us get through the semester. In fact, we're going to spotlight one of those professors right now. This spring, more than 200 Academy students experienced the extraordinary teaching of Ricky Little during Music Festival. Page five, top of the page, second measure. Tenor, you're gonna breathe after pain. Ready and sing. Everyone has improved thanks to the director for being a little harsher than a, let's say like a softer spoken director would be. Put your cell phones away. And uh, Mr. Little, I, I can't even explain. He's so cool. He's great. Don't let me catch you on the cell phone. Constructive okay. criticism and yeah. it works. It does mm -hmm. work, but not for the basis because like we're good. So. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but as soon as we started singing and like everybody together, it was really like, I don't know, you could like hear like the basses, like they just shake the floor and it sounded so cool. Great, like I was actually a part of something big. I think the program went really well. Our singing was good, we blended well, the harmonies sounded good. And it was so beautiful. I love singing those notes and how it blended together, how it all fit together. I thought it was just absolutely wonderful. Did you have any classes in the old amphitheater in the basement of the administration building? Yes. I took ancient Western literature with Professor Sparks. I had to wedge myself into those gold and red plastic seats with their nifty flip-up desks. Well, don't be shocked, but the amphitheater has been completely transformed. We recently held a grand reopening, and here's what people had to say. My husband and I, we started dating that summer, and we had a class together in this amphitheater, and we sat in the back and we did a little canoodling, whatever, you take that however you want. And we both got A's. Chairs were my size. I'm five foot two, and back then I was a hundred pounds, so I was comfortable. But I could see that not everybody was as comfortable as I was. So how tall are you, James? Six foot three. Are you comfortable here? Yeah. Huh? Huh? Seats are nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I took a class from Elder Roski, and his piano was down here, and we sang songs every Friday for our classes. It was amazing, but it didn't look like this. And now that I'm standing here, it is completely different. Um, we were just talking about how the sound is different, the huge desks, and looking at Union, as I've been here four years, I'm a graduating senior, seeing all the growth that Union has had, and it, it's just making me really proud to call Union home. A big thank you to everyone who donated to the Learning and Living campaign to make these improvements possible. 
Speaking of improvements, just a few hundred yards away, construction crews are finishing up renovation work on the Larson Building and preparing to lay the foundation for a new section of the Avent Health Complex. This time lapse reveals each step in the transformation that has taken place since last fall, replacing the roof over the swimming pool, filling the old entrance and making a new entrance on the upper floor. The building is changing from a caterpillar to a butterfly. We can't wait for the new fitness space to open. You can watch the live cam and learn more at ucollege.edu slash fit. In other news, senior international rescue and relief majors traveled to Malawi, Africa to practice their clinical and global development skills. This trip is a required part of the IIR program and prepares them to serve in any part of the world. IRR is known for its hands-on experiential learning. We're going to be focusing on the Malawi trip, uh, the expedition, the capstone of the program, where students take everything they've learned for the last three and a half years and translate that into another country. Uh, while there, students take cultural integration, global health, travel and tropical medicine, clinical and emergency care two, expedition leadership, uh, and development logistics and analytics. Here are some of the highlights of the hands-on experience our students got while in Malawi. Hi, my name is Adam Anderson. I am an IR senior pre-med. Um, here in Zaleika, the refugee camp, we've had a lot of experiences that I wouldn't have been able to have in the United States. So Augustine and I were on maternity the other day and we got to deliver a baby. Um, it's kind of funny how it happened. The nurses had a lot of trust in us. They left maternity just with me and Augustine with the patient. Um, and the patient said something in Chichewa. I didn't understand. So I went over to see the patient. She was behind the curtain and out was coming the baby. So I ran over there, delivered the baby. Augustine went and got the nurse and the nurse came back and I cut the cord and everything. Uh, it was a really cool experience. Um, there's a lot of need here and just to be able to help out the community and the refugee camp has been a cool experience. On this trip, I've learned a lot about leadership, a lot about teamwork and dynamics of different people, different hikers, a lot about nature. I've learned a lot on this trip. So far, it's been uh, very insightful what I've learned. I, I, this is the first time I've actually hiked up a mountain with a large group. So I've been learning about pacing and how to be a leader for the hiking group and also how to distribute people's pack weight and how to work around and you know be a better team overall. Hello, my name is Igor Papali'i and I'm majoring in International Rescue and Relief with an emphasis in Global Development. Hi, my name is Lorelai Plata and I am also majoring in International Rescue and Relief with a Biomed minor. While everyone was in clinicals, we got the opportunity to talk to the camp manager over at Zalaika Refugee Camp. He mentioned that the original number for like people that were supposed to take in was supposed to be like 10,000, but uh, right now the population is like five times. It's at 50,000 so, like, and 50, it's like 000. rapidly growing. While he's trying to work with like other NGOs and other organizations to help out with like necessities, like provide them with medications. Yeah, so like one of the things that uh, we, we learned about the camp was that um, people weren't receiving enough water. And something that that camp manager was able to do was to increase the amount of water per day that people could was get. From 10 liters, at first it was like 10 liters per person. And their goal was 20 liters But per now person. they're at 15 liters per person. So they're not like where they want to be, but they are improving. And I think that's really cool. We're back and we're glad to be joined by Union President Dr. Vanita Sauter. She's here to share one more piece of news. This is a pretty big development, isn't it, Dr. Sauter? Well, I think so. You know, Union College is thinking about a name change. We've had a very successful master's program for physician assistants for nearly 15 years, and we're putting in three more graduate programs, two starting this fall, a Master of Science in Leadership and a Master of Public Health. And uh, in 2024, we're going to launch a Master of Occupational Therapy. So it might be time to change our name to include the word university. And our board has asked us to do research on that to see what our constituents think. And it's interesting that some recent scholarly research on the topic has shown that colleges that switch from college to university actually grow in enrollment. So we're hoping that might happen to us if we switch our name. And so we'd like to know what our viewers think. We have a special survey going out to everyone. Uh, we've surveyed our employees, our alumni, and we'd like to know what you think too. 
Do you have a specific name change in mind? Well, actually, we're generating a whole list of options, and people are sending us their ideas. But so far, the name that's winning the most, or has our, the most popular vote, is Union Adventist University. And, uh, but we'll take more suggestions. Send them in. Send them our way. Thank you, Dr. Sauter, and thank you uh, for joining us for the latest news about Union College, or possibly university. To learn more, visit us at ucollege.edu. Have a great day.